I'd rather not. Let's um, <laughs> we're we're kind of killing it on time, so we're gonna start. We're gonna actually we're gonna play the intro so we can have a a more organic opening than we have been lately. So it just feels better. You guys ready to go to do the show? Yeah, let's, let's do it. All right, I think uh, here we go. Live from the Tri Jam Studio in Woodbury, New Jersey. This is Tri Jam with Kyle Mack, Kyle Mack, and Kyle Mack. <laughs> hey, yo, that was a good one. I like that. I like that. Thank you so much. I had to do it. <laughs> he said he's important. Oh, he tried to say he set us up, though. You right, know how right. He set us up. Are you ready? <laughs> we could be more natural. We could be more natural. Yeah, the hey, response. Yeah. Yeah, I got a more natural response for you. Fuck you. That, 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 <laughs> fuck, that fucked me up. I ain't going to hold you. I was like, what? <laughs> fuck. I thought it was stuttering. I thought he was about to stop it and shit. <laughs> hold on. Wait. 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 <laughs> No, yeah. no, no, no. It's like there's been so much talk about who's the biggest guy in the room. <laughs> the biggest guy in the room wheel, uh, wields the most creative control. How about that? Okay, there, gotcha. there we I go. Gotcha. <laughs> the week that he got to build to be Cal Mack and Cal Mack and Cal Mack, <laughs> he's gonna fucking lose hell his yeah. mind. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Breathing in here hard as hell. <laughs> Dan, I need you to be Will today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, imagine that. We should costume that right there, bro. <laughs> Kevin, <is> me. Mm. <laughs> well, welcome once again. Again to another exciting episode of the Tri Jam Podcast. We're back. Yeah. Yes. Um, it is once again the three of us. Last week was cool having Joe uh, back on the show after uh, much time away. I, you know, we really, we really missed her. Missed her. We love her to death. And hopefully, I always love my mama. She's my favorite girl. You only get one. You only get one. Yeah. Yeah, Shay, I know it. I know Shay it. But I, silent. Just don't, I don't know it like that. No. He's a I don't know it like that. So. That song has one of the most epic intros for one of the most. Uh, the, the, the theme changes very quickly. Yeah, they start. You, talking. you think it's like a like a black exploitation shaft type thing <laughs> with all the strings and horns. Then it turns. That's a love song to his mom. And then it, and then they party at the end of the song and talk more shit. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it was like hilarious. All right, how, how's everybody doing? I'm good, man. That just disregard what I just did. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck we were talking was. about that earlier. No. Nah. Wait, that. But you fucking up on a song. Was I fucking up on a song? Yeah, did somebody said you fucked up, up last general. Friday. Oh, oh no, we were just talking about the conversation before the show was: Have we? Do we get in a position where we either forget lyrics during our songs, Start or have you stage. forgotten jokes oh, yes. during your live uh, stand-up comedy? Mm. And the answer is yes. It happens to everyone. Mm. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, because uh, um, there was a video that I had posted of me doing a sound check for the spinners over at in, uh, at Parks, and I forgot the words the games people play. <laughs> and they caught that on camera. Yeah, well, Ke- Kevin got it on camera. Damn. Damn. He laughed his shit out. You know, he was he was he thought it was very funny. So wait, it was what, what was a uh, mic check or you singing on the show? It was just a sound check. Oh, okay, because half the guys were asleep. They forgot sound check. So the the music director's like, "Hey, Kyle, grab a mic." Kyle's that guy. So he'd be the earliest fuck for anybody else. Cause he oh, he telling y'all that shit. He'd be walking on the stage. Ain't nobody else on that bitch. He just walking back and forth. He old as fuck. I keep trying to tell y'all. Yeah. No, but no. See, it's cool to have opportunities like that. Yeah. So that's how you open doors, man. That's how you got on uh, with Temptations, right? You exactly. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I uh, the recording contract happened because of a video of me doing their sound check. That's what's up. So yeah. and you got no pussy from it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a box. <laughs> Not a box of chocolate or nothing. Hey, yo, I'm done. <laughs> I had the opportunities, but they all were expired. So yeah, all hey, them bitches. Man, is listen, <laughs> listen here. To some of us, it would have been good. <laughs> It's eight o'clock right now. You better come get me before I fall asleep. Uh, I'll be up at four in the morning. It's, hey, it's funny. It's what what Patrice O'Neill used to say. I'll take some stale cracker jacks, but I want them right now. <laughs> I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. That's right. <laughs> so uh, everyone else being good? Yeah, I'm in good, man. Everything yeah. all right? Start a new job. This is all right. That's what's up. Yeah, that's cool. That's you it. start a new job, Shay? Nope. Same old job. Same old Same job. Same old shit. Ain't nothing changed. Shay Davis still Shay Davis. I'm yeah. ready to quit. Right. <laughs> so I'm ready to quit. <laughs> I'm OG at my job now, so I mean, I'm doing what I want to do. Oh, man, the turnover rate must be high as shit. Oh, yeah, man. Nah, I'm, I'm ready to quit. No, yeah. You're always ready to quit, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't supposed to be doing this. That's why. Yeah. How many know. jobs have you had in your, in your lifespan? Mm, that's a good question. Damn, that's a that's lot. a good question. It, <laughs> I put like that. It might be un, It might 
just hit 10 maybe oh, damn. maybe wow i think i mean i'm i'm going to school now i'm not i don't really work i mean i do my gigs but i don't call that really like a daytime job nine to fives nine to fives i think air force took up six years there was the job i had as a bouncer at the strip club which was short-lived and pretty dumb and then grocery store so that's three uh the job over at the group home that's four the golf course before that so i think i've had five you're picking up golf balls i was picking up and cleaning golf balls like like manually or you had the machine i had the golf cart with the catcher in it with the in the basket and you know, yeah, i remember crazy. the first day i did it i missed so many the landscapers got so pissed because the the uh, lawnmowers were hacking golf balls in half oh, wow. all across the driving range i got That's i got crazy. a stern talking to that day but uh Let's stop talking about that. Let's move this thing forward. Let's I'm trying to count. What the fuck is you doing? I'm trying at, to count his jobs? I'm at eight right now. <laughs> I had some more. I forgot. I think I'm at about five. Amazon. I'm at four or five. I worked at the warehouse once. Man, that's I'm crazy. At, yeah, I'm at, yeah. I'm, I, I, I worked at Costco. Yeah, he I was giving the samples. I'm at the Oh, uh, you're a grocery store brother like me? Yeah, I was at Costco. I gave a couple. Uh, I was giving out the samples. Only retail I did was Family Dollar. For, I never worked at retail. Really no. Oh, I worked retail. I had I uh, worked at a Halloween store. A job that was dealt, uh, destined Party to City. quit. Party City? No, ha- no it was a, a Spirit Halloween. Oh, yeah. 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 You come around. Uh, yeah, you got one. seasonal. That's seasonal. That was seasonal. <laughs> like a month. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do the garbage pail. <laughs> hey! So I have to admit, I'm ill prepared. I thought I had printed all this shit out. I did not. So, but we're going to make it happen, Captain, anyway. Uh, a Florida man. Here's another Florida story. All these garbage pail stories happen in Florida. Damn. They tell you the Bronx in Florida got the craziest people. <laughs> uh, a Florida man is behind bars after allegedly battering a female victim with hot ramen noodles. A uh, sheriff's deputy spoke to a woman who said she was struck with noodles thrown by Brandon Smith, 21, following a dispute over allowing Smith's dog onto a bed. After Smith hit her with the noodles, the woman alleged he uh, struck her on the back with a hot pot. When questioned by police, Smith said he woke up and began making a pot of ramen noodles. Oh, wow. The victim, uh, he claimed, was chasing the dog around when she fell atop of the ramen noodles on the stove. Uh, Smith was arrested for domestic battery and booked into the county jail where he was held in lieu of $5,000 bond on misdemeanor counts. Um, In the past year, Smith has been convicted of cocaine possession, (laughs) resisting police and driving without a license. Here's the picture that Kevin just pulled up of this guy. (laughs) Damn, Uh, Zeke. I'm not going to even front. I can't even front. Where's that graphic? There it is. Oh, my. This motherfucker did an Ike Turner. I mean, uh, <laughs> what? Tina Turner was it? Tina Turner who do hot grit? No, no, was that uh somebody? One, one. That's in a Tyler Perry drone. No, no, but it was in the. He got it from like, was it? No, was it uh Marvin Gaye? Was it Marvin Gaye? Somebody do some hot grits on his ass. Al Green. Al Green. Al Green. <laughs> Al Green. That nigga do some hot oodles and noodles on this bitch. That's Al, crazy. Just to think, by the way he looked, he looked like he lived in a in a room. <laughs> That's a one bedroom. Because the nigga, look, think about it. He went, he live in a room. Look, listen to the content. The content said he was on the bed oh, nah. and, threw, and threw hot oodles and noodles on it, and then slapped it with the hot pot. Right, right. He brought the pot to the room. He got, he, yeah. he got a, what you call it? He got the hot plate joint. The hot plate joint. Mm-hmm. Cook that shit on the hot plate. Bitch, don't you ever chase my dog around here while I'm sleeping. <laughs> you ever been hit with any, like an object? Well, you're married with a lot of kids. I'm sure there's a lot of arguments in your house. You ever been having anything like projectiled in your direction? Yeah. Ever, got, was it ever yeah. noodles? Never, never noodles. I had an Xbox uh, controller thrown at me like last week. <laughs> For real? <laughs> oh, God. I dipped that shit. My, my wife threw a, um, a, uh, uh, a egg shaped speaker at me mm. but it was medical <laughs> it, it went to a, a surround sound i got a, uh i had to get uh not even stitches I had to get uh then she made contact it was a stitches, it was stitches? i might have to get glue on my shit you ain't dip that shit nah she was fast with that one that was good one. <laughs> bro i watched her pick the shit up yeah, nah, I didn't. Then she went like this i, I didn't like, no i didn't watch her pick it yeah, up that's, that's the thing nope that's, it wasn't what you thought nigga hey man you gotta catch it yeah she beat my ass that day oh man <laughs> got hit with a uh 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 what you call it a uh, high hill mm. oh shit she hit me with that well she went this was that the time you went to jail for being beat up yeah 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 nah. Damn, mm-hmm. she tried to hit me with the hot with the wasn't it? i w- 
I blocked it and then it went through my hands. I was like, fuck. The heel went through your hand? Yeah, right here. Get that mark. I got I the mark. I can't see I got a hand. mark right. You see the mark right yeah. there. I got the mark right there. Oh, yeah. shit. It healed up really nice. And so then that's it, when you're supposed that to little leave. cut in my eyebrow. Yeah, that was that was, that didn't come from uh Damn, <laughs> ZZ fucked you up. Yep, I let her have that. Ooh, <laughs> got that I mean you got to, I think, now. But look, Shit. I tell you this though, I bet you my girl will beat all y'all girls the fuck up. I bet you that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure probably. I ain't even gonna hold her. <laughs> I bet you that. My girl not a fighter. She my girl a fighter. super fighter. <laughs> this bitch is a heavyweight champion. She's not a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> One time I was fighting some niggas in the street. She told me to go get the car. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> How did that make you feel? Like a look, I, nigga, I fucked the shit out of her. What do you mean? It made me feel great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, bitch, yo. Yo. That bitch. Thank you. She protected me. <laughs> yo, that's out of pocket. That's out of pocket. Oh uh, yeah. shit. All right, so here's one that I forgot to edit. So we're gonna do some live editing on the cuff here. But here's it's Let's an go. interesting story. Uh, man tries to dodge COVID vaccine by using a fake arm. Uh, oh yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> a man in Italy, a man in Italy who wanted uh, proof of vaccination but didn't want to get the shot, attempted to trick medical workers by using a fake arm, according to the local nurse. Um, nurse Filippa Bua um, in the city of B- I don't know where the story is comes from Italy so I, I'm I'm fucking up the names here from Italy. but she uh, she said she noticed something when uh, was amiss pretty quickly when I uncovered the arm the skin felt cold and gummy uh, and the color was too light as she told Italian newspaper I can't <laughs> He's stupid. Stupid That's as fuck. Crazy, right. Stupid as fuck. Why would you take a rubber arm? At first, she thought he had an actual prosthetic arm that he simply had an accident uh, and offered her the wrong arm to give the vaccine. But that was not the case. The man was wearing and covering, uh, wearing a covering on his torso with two rubber foam arms attached. <laughs> Rubber and foam. Two of them, right? Oh, shit. And the man ultimately admitted that his goal was uh, has been to obtain a COVID-19 vaccine certificate without receiving the shot. He could have just went to the plug. Yep. They got him out here, man. That's crazy. That's <sighs> hilarious, though. Yeah, I think he's dumb as fuck. <laughs> a rubber joint? A rubber arm? I mean, you hear stories about people like faking piss. Oh, oh, you know, just to I've pass drug a tests. A couple times. Now, you, did you? No, you didn't, Shay. Who did? No, you didn't. I did. Did you? I don't give a fuck. That's bold. I Why'd pee, you do that to yourself? I peed for somebody before. You, See? There you go. You ever pee on somebody? I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Yeah, in the shower. <laughs> Yeah, I peed on somebody in the you, shower. You nasty motherfucker. You ain't never peed on your girl in the shower? I never pissed in the shower. Uh, what? No. You corny. <laughs> Get my ass out. For real? Yes. You done got you done got out of it. It's cold, bitch. What are you talking about? I don't give a fuck what time of year it is. It's cold when you get out the shower. When I'm expecting someone else to be in the shower after me or at the same time, I don't urinate. But it's very you. It's very rude. But hey, going down, you pee with whether the it with wash the- out or not. That's still. Right, hey, still man, going. You pee while the, while the while the current is going. You don't, right, the water. You don't see, pee on the what, outside. What you did let me finish was what you didn't let me finish was saying that I still urinate in the shower. Oh, when piss I'm, right in the yeah. drain. You hit the drain. Just ain't nobody standing. Dan, on. come on, shoot, no Dan. At y'all fucking let's yeah. be honest. Do you urinate in the shower? Uh yes, yes, I do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> real nigga shit. That's so weird. All right, here's the real litmus test, Kevin. Kevin, no. Kevin White, the OG. No, you ain't never. You gonna pee before you get in there? First of all, you gonna piss and shit before you get in the shower? First of all, first of all, yes, that's different. But I have pissed in the shower before, and I have pissed on my girl leg in the shower. That's trifling as fuck. Well, it's not. She watching up anyway. It's trifling, but she's probably like, "Ew, will she don't know the fuck? We don't pee on her, her face, and you stupid. <laughs> you pee on her leg while she's <laughs> Hey, yo, I'm every done. little nigga done peed on their girl, man. No. How you supposed to claim My your territory? My girl has never been peed on. Right. How, how do you claim your territory? You don't claim your Bussing territory? Busting on her ass. Nigga, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> fuck you talking about? Busting on her ass. It's my ass. It's my pussy. My pussy. <laughs> my pussy. You hear me, God damn it. This is my pussy. <laughs> I'm pissing on her leg, too. Hey, yo. <laughs> They call us a dog, so bitch, I'm a piss on that tree. <laughs> I ain't never pissed on one girl. You pissed on your girl? No, man. He lying. What is this shit you pulled up, Kev? 
<laughs> should you pee in the should shower? Should you pee in the shower? Or the hel- is it healthy? Yes, it's healthy. healthy to piss in the shower yep. now? Kevin pulled up an article yep. headline. Let the steam Fuck. hit your balls while you emptying them. Now, I'm kinda, I, now I kind of want to oh, know what this... Oh, it's a you video. Ever, tickled your, tickled your, uh, your pews while pissing? Say what? Yeah. Oh, I'm saying, have y'all ever tickled your pubes while pissing? <laughs> <laughs> got to rub on your pubes while pissing. That shit feel good as fuck. This nigga got a nerve. Never have a problem with me pissing in the shower, but he over here playing with his balls. <laughs> Not my while, balls, my pubes. Right, pissing. Two different, two different spots. What, pe- what, 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 what the like the upper top of your? Yeah, pubes? like your pubes, just your pubes. <laughs> yeah, I, don't always, I don't always hold my dick when I piss. <laughs> that is interesting. <laughs> So you, what you would rather hold on to a handful of pubes? I don't hold it. I play with it. You play with your the way. Okay. What you playing with? Your My pubes. pubes. Oh, oh, Jesus! Wow. <laughs> I'm watch. Do it today. I'm when you go doing home, that shit. you're gonna I'm be like, "Yo, that shit really do feel good." Dude, I got no pubes to play with. So it's, you shave? Yeah, I do too. <laughs> all the time. We just had this conversation. All the week. time. We shave I and shave. we shave all the time. I give it at least some. Blood. All right. Uh, I mean, nah, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't like that. Like, I ain't. It's gonna, I let it grow back. Mm-hmm. Oh, this has been interesting. But I'm not gonna. I'm not going to. All this shit ain't going on, Eric. God damn it. That's hilarious. All right. As much as I love this conversation, we got to go to a break. We'll be right back with Go Time. Don't go anywhere. So, guys, what's going on, Kyle? I don't think the people understand yet. What? We have so many different ways for our listeners and viewers to consume the show. We're more than just a podcast. We're more than just a live stream. Don't they know this? What we got for them? No, tell them. We have our show available. You really put me on the spot. That yeah, was good, though. I, I was good. I, I, I appreciate the layup, but I just missed. It was all, it was all whiff. <laughs> but uh, Block this shit. <laughs> Get but shit no, out of here. But really, I mean... As much as people enjoy listening to the podcast, they will love watching it on YouTube and Facebook Watch, and Thanks. vice versa. If you love watching it on Facebook and YouTube, uh, you can listen to our show. Take us with you in the car, on your jog, when you're working out. You know, when you're in the grocery store, you know, take Try Jam wherever you want to go. Even if you want to get a little ass, you can take you, us with you. You play us in the room if you want to get some ass. That's right. And set the mood. Go blow your shit. Mood. Set the mood. Set if you, the mood. Nothing's more romantic than playing with the pubes and Shay's got the game. Y'all on wild as hell. Fuck this commercial. Do this shit over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back in the break, y'all. This is Try Jam. Yeah. What's good? Let's go. All right, we got a guest in the studio, but before we get to him, uh, it's a different time that we're living in. The world is so different. We don't know what to do. We don't know where to find the entertainment. But one man, one one guy. I'm that guy. He's that guy. Shay Ooh, Davis. He's the guy. Say no, I'm sure. What's going on? Yo, what's going on, good peoples? What's up with y'all? I appreciate y'all for tuning in to Chai Jam Podcast once again on another Wednesday night. It's not Tuesdays no more. All right, so Thursday and Friday, February 9th and the 10th, you got Kendrick... Kindred the Family Soul um, at 8 p.m. is on the 9th, and then on the 10th is at 6 p.m. and 9.30 at the City Winery, 990 Filbert Street in Philadelphia, New Jersey. Um, Saturday, February 12th, you got Boys the Men coming to the Met in Philadelphia at 8 p.m., 858 North Broad Street. Uh, that's in Philadelphia, what? I got a joke about that, but I'll tell you. <laughs> He said, I'll tell you later. All right. So, yeah. So, if y'all love uh, Boys and Men, make sure y'all go, go slide to that drone. But if you love Shay Davis, if you love me, please come down to AC. I'm going to be in AC at RB, uncensored uh, for the ladies. He's all right. I'm the shit boy. <laughs> uh, Valentine's Day uh, celebration at Club Bore. Uh, music, food, and drinks. Doors open at 7 p.m. I think the show started at uh, 8 p.m. I got tickets right now. Holla at me. You got Teddy Love, Village Bridge, uh, Naquan on the show. Myself by DJ 5D. Um, then you got uh, Theater of Living Arts, South Street, Philadelphia, Saturday, February 19th. Cool in the gang. Yes. Mm. Cool in the gang. What song cool. did they come out with? Uh, a bunch. Uh, <laughs> what's, the, what's the most popular drum? Uh, Get Down On It. Celebration. Oh, yeah. A uh, Jungle Boogie. Mm. What's this? Funky uh, stuff. Ovation Cherish. Hall. Ovation Talk Hall in Ocean Casino, Atlantic City, New Jersey. That's going down February 19th. And then Sunday, to end off the week, to end off the week on Sunday, if you want to take your lady, take her 
out to the 70s Love Jam featuring Stephanie Mills. Yes. The Whispers, the Stylistics, Kyle getting horny, uh, <laughs> Howard Hewitt. <laughs> fucking. At 7 p.m. at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Boardwalk, Atlantic City. <laughs> That's what's going down this week and this weekend. Make sure y'all highlight these events. You, you forgot one. I, I did. I did. You definitely forgot one. Oh, Hold shit. On, let me start on, the music on. back up for you. Who? It's all good. Can't scroll through that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, February 13th. Uh huh. Love, loving, what, what is that? If loving you, if loving you ain't right, uh huh. Comedy brunch. Is it spelled with a W? Yes. yes. Uh, of course, course it is. Of Fuck. course it is. <laughs> if loving you ain't right, he ain't trying to be wrong. That's right. All right. Uh, 12. Uh, sep- Sunday, February 13th, 12 p.m. through 4 p.m. You got $60 tickets. Does it come with food, bro? It's, it's included a brunch. It's a buffet, too. All I just right. want to throw that in there. All right. It's all, it's all included. Make we got sure different packages. $60 and per person? But it's cheaper if you get it too. Get two. God. Get two of them. What's the two? What's the two ticket price? It's one twenty. One ten. Oh, okay. <laughs> ten dollars cheaper. Hey man. Hey man. Make a pay for it, man. You you don't you don't work your way up. Come on. It's now. hosted by Will Wright. You got a lot of good great comedies. Uh, comedy host on the list. Uh, it's at Black Black and Blues Restaurant, eleven eleven Route seventy three North Mount, Laurel, New Jersey. Make sure y'all give my guy. You got tickets online or you got them? It's only yourself. online. But holla at me. I send you the link. Yeah, holla at my guy, Fake Will Wright on Instagram and Comedian Will Wright on Facebook. My man. Yeah, that's make sure. Been that's my bro right there, that's man. That's the boy been studying. That's yes, what sir. it is right there. That's love right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all, man. All right. Well, thank you so much, Shay, for telling us what's going on. Uh, in the studio, he is uh, a a very, very talented artist. Uh, artist? Artist. Well, that's a new word. Artist. What the fuck is that? And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a uh, Kyleism. He's, he is a artist and an audience member all at the same time. Got you. Talk about it. Yes. Uh, Woo, I messed up, but that's all right. Uh, he actually hails uh, from the this part of town in Woodbury, where we uh, where Tri Jam Studios located. But he's made a very good name for himself. Uh, y'all give it up for Go Time. Yeah, yeah. Thank y'all, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate who's, y'all. Uh, who's a new single? They on. You're going to perform later on the show for us. And of course. I'm looking forward to that. Of course. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Blessed, man. Happy, happy to be here. Happy to be here with you guys, man. I appreciate, appreciate y'all showing me some love having me on your show man. oh man we're happy to have you um and shay speaks very highly of you i, I yeah, he, he kind of he hit me to your music before we had you come on okay and and uh you're very very talented dude i appreciate that shay's the guy man me and shay <laughs> we go back man we we've actually been in the studio a couple of times we haven't actually finished the record but it's gonna happen that's my man's right there a lot, a lot of starts yeah. gonna, but there's gonna be a finish at some point right it gotta be bro it, right. it gotta happen. be it's, it was talked about the last time you know things happen but you know not yeah, definitely. You know, there's always so much music being recorded. <laughs> always. You, you got a lot of stuff in the tank. So I'm looking forward. I think you two together will make a really, really good record. Yeah, oh, yeah. actually, you know, I, I, said I, got, I, got, I brought something with me. So when we leave, I can, I'm going to let you, you know, we're going to tap yeah. in. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. That's how we're going to do that. You back on the hey, scene. Hey, you know what's going on. <laughs> hey, man, I just want you to be. I, I, I got to get in. I got to got Listen. I want the fight to be fair. You know, it's not a lot of people. It's not a lot of people that got Shay on the hook. Not too many. No, I only know one actually. But the ones that have is going. They them yeah, shit. I'll give you that. I'm saying that. that. No, but what I'm saying is that like that that's exclusive. Like he, he, you know, I know how he coming, and not look, everybody look, look, get look, that. You hey, feel me? Hey, he don't know what's going on. But this, I'm humble by mine. <laughs> and you don't see real. me out here like yeah, nigga, I'm <laughs> shit. Nah, <laughs> I just I told you, but bro. Look, 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 I'm just looking. I just want to see what his uh, composure is, and nigga. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm <laughs> thankful, bro. So, with, with you, very thankful. Shay is graceful. Yo, yeah, he don't know because we we I, I be starting shit in here sometimes. Okay, right? so I sometimes. You start a lot of shit like today. Don't yeah. start that shit. I don't no. make us bring that shit up. <laughs> like, don't make us bring that shit up. But uh, <laughs> I'll be fucking with everybody. We just we just, we just some jokes and shit. Yeah. But I had to like you see that you see that picture up there on that TV. The oh, viewers God. at home, you can actually pull it up, Dan, if you want to see what yeah, picture he's the, talking yeah, about. Let the viewers see it. But the picture we got up there, I feel like it was in the wrong spot. Like me, I'm in the wrong spot. I feel like I should be number one because out of the three of us, I'm the biggest star, right? Uh-huh. But then Shay, right? I try uh-huh. to let it live or whatever. The next week, last week, Shay told so, Let me tell you something. My nigga, my name rings bells in this <laughs> So then you come up, come up here and confirm oh, oh, it, right? I just, I just you come it. up here and confirm this nigga over here, like, 
<laughs> you know what's going hit me, on. Hit me with the head. Let me tell you something, young hey, man. Hey, man, when 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 somebody puts puts a lot of shit, you know, hard work into their craft, man, you gotta give people nah, their nah, flowers. You know, nah, nah. I never but, knew, bro, until the music thing came. That's I mean, popped off. So, yeah, but, you know, but you know, Shayna, you know, we just you know fucking around. Yeah, a lot no, of people true. don't like to give other people their flowers out of I don't know what it is, but you know me, I'm a big fan of like, man, show that man his fly, man. That man got it. That's love. I appreciate okay, it, bro. You, know, okay. you already know, bro. All right, so you're from Woodbury, New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, did you start recording music here as a young kid and stuff? Yeah, actually, I did. Um, we used to <laughs> we used to record with uh, Eddie Marr down at the Red Bank Apartments down the street. Red oh Bank, wow! Yeah. Fully loaded. Fully I don't know loaded. what the Red Bank Apartments are. Yeah, it's down right. Here? It's right down there. Uh, right, it's like West Defer. going towards West Defer. Mm-hmm. Okay, or whatever. Um, uh, but I was with a group uh f- called Ragtag. Uh, okay, founder of it was uh Rich Quick. May he rest in peace. Shout out Rich Quick. Shout yeah. out his family. Um, I was in that group with uh, J. Webb, South Jersey Generals. May he rest in peace. Um, mm. Shout out Mosam, shout out Duke, Young Luke, and myself. So mm. we started at like 14, 15, recording music. Just- I- in high school, yeah, I, I I knew a lot. Was it in high school for you? Yeah. All right. So I knew a lot of rap groups. Yeah. Uh, uh, in uh, during that time of my life, and it always seemed like it was either really good or really, really bad. bad. So for you, what was the rap group environment like? I'll tell you what. It was co- fierce competition. Even uh, as kids. Even as like young teenagers, just a competition. Like you got to think. I'm in a room with five writers yeah, and that me. are talented, that really got it. For you know? real, for real. So if we're making an album, <clears throat> if we're making an album and everybody has to write a verse, it's only three verses on a song. Right. Oh, the your verse, you're not having five verse songs, right? So. Nah, if your verse ain't where it need to be, you're not on the record. And that wow. was just a cutthroat way that we operated as a group, but it pushed us and it motivated us to get our pen sharp. Mm-hmm. So, it, but being around that and being involved with that, it, it got me to a point that now, like as an artist, now at any given time, I can tap into any one of my my brothers and and get that that feel that feel because I lived it. I, I right. can tap into if I want to get in my most sound bag. I could tap into Mo. I could tap into Quick. I could tap into Jeb. I can mm-hmm. ta- I can tap into. You ever heard the bar with Little Wayne when he said, "I got so many styles that I am a group." Yeah, wow, yeah. yeah, I didn't even catch that bar, but now that you say it, that's crazy. Yeah, like <laughs> that's crazy. That's the that's the that's the. I f- in my opinion, that's what makes me different from a lot of writers. Okay, you know, like I am a writer. I'm mm. not a rapper. I can rap. Right. If you put me in a position where I have to, yes, no problem. I have no problem blowing the roof off of a building. That's mm-hmm. not. But I. I'm trying to focus more on the artistry of it. The pen, right. the writing, the songs, the hits is what matters. So right. It's not about who you can shoot and how much drugs you move like. I mean, well, that's refreshing to hear. Yeah, I mean. So I, I've also seen you in the, in the studio before. You go off the top. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So which, which, like, do you feel it's better to write or do you feel it's better to go off the off your heart? All right. So everybody's definition of writing is different. Okay. Um, I write in my head. Solid. Really? So when you go and record a track that is supposed to be for an actual final release, mm-hmm. you don't have anything on pen and paper before you go into or the Or in your phone. No? He's been there. So, he so. He knows. See, that, to me, that's off the top of the dome. You go in that joint, you just, all right, man. All right, cool. All, all right, right we're going to so do this. I'm my, a- wife is, my wife is going, she, she, my, if, if anybody ever runs into my missus, hey, baby, how you doing? I'll be home in a little bit. But <laughs> I write all my records in the bathroom. On the toilet. Nice. Lionel Richie did it. Personal time. I, I don't write That's where time. I'm, where, you know, I'm, to me, it's just my time, my space. So at that point, I just, the words, they just come. I memorize them and. Yeah. That's how I write. I mean, I don't write on the toilet. It's, it, it, <laughs> I actually know. call niggas while I'm on the toilet. I ain't gonna I mean, it, it, it <laughs> is what it is. No, you know, I call people. I just like to get the shit out the way. Everybody. <laughs> wow, pun. I like to get all the shit out I can get but, out the way. I mean, you know, everybody has their processes, but I, I, a lot of my music I come up with while I'm, you know, in the laboratory. Like, That's I, true. I, That's I understand true. a little bit. I don't write I don't write jokes. Y'all know that, right? That's just the truth. You know, off the top. Yeah, all my shit come off the top. And then it's remembered. Yeah. Okay. And I think because I'm dyslexic. That's the reason. So why. are you actually writing? You're writing it down on pen and paper while you're there, and you're bringing it to you, uh, bringing it with you to the booth. No. 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 You are you are confounding so, me. So sir. The, so a beat don't change. None of the. You know what I'm saying what. All right. So 
a lot of the times where a lot of people, they, they focus on words, just the words, the words, the words, mm-hmm. the words. When I'm listening to a beat, I'm hearing the melodies, melodies. the harmonies, uh-huh. and I create them in my head, the, the melodies, the harmonies. So mm-hmm. at that point, it's not a hard for me to put the words where they need to be. So you like Please. singing too? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. So definitely. like, I don't think I can sing that well, but I don't care. I'm gonna sing anyway. But enough to get a product recorded. Definitely, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So all these things they're singing now they ain't really singing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, moving past the high school days with your yeah. rap group, when did you feel confident enough? At what age to to go about it and do it yourself? Um, I, I guess is when life happens. You know what I mean? Like. We, we all decided to go our separate ways because life happens. You know, some people became yeah. parents. I just spoke on this when I was on Sway in the morning. Shout out Sway. Some people become parents. Some went to jail. Some, you know, mm. let, got led astray. So, you know, it's only, it happens where you just part ways sometimes. And it's, mm. it's respected. But I just felt like I wasn't going to quit doing music regardless of if I was in a group or not. Like, this is my passion. This is my dream. I've, I've, dedicated a lot of my life to this mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm gonna keep going you know and they respected it they support me still too still this so so uh what is uh if you had to choose something is, is there any kind of like a, a a theme that's closest to your heart that comes out through your music or is it just all abroad different topics of, of conversation different messages that you like to give out like all right so i'm a barber okay we're part-time barber um you meet a lot of people from different walks of life, mm. right? And then as men, grown men, as we all are, mm-hmm. we walk down paths and different paths in life. Yes, sir. We take all those experiences and it creates who you are. And at times you can always revisit the things that you've been through, went through, felt when you was going through it. And you can always paint that picture, mm. you know? So, so I tap into a lot of things that I know people have been through. I tap into things that I've been through and I just try to express it to where it's relatable and people can identify with it, you know? No, definitely. That's what's up, though. You know, I'm about to take a turn real quick. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to take a turn. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Right. So, nah, we have, we, it's respectful, though. It's respectful. Okay. Uh, talk go time. Talk, my man, go time. Talk I don't, know, yeah. if you, oh, I don't yeah. know if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had, like, our first person put us on blast online and was like, yo. The, I the, briefly remember this. Yeah, they, they don't... They, Try Jam ain't putting us they on. Snapping they on they us. were snapping. Oh, we were the subject of some negative stuff. Yes. Oh, okay. It was po- it was for motivational purposes only. But go. okay. He said, "Bro, say tag Shay Davis. He, bring all the niggas." Yeah, oh, I, that up. was me. I was yeah, going. So ahead. it was him. So now, now, I, <laughs> now I understand. Like we, we kind of touched on a little bit why you was out of the room or you right. know or during the break or no, whatever. Let's tap, right. let's tap in. But I'm ten toes. What, so all right, what made you do that? It was all right. So how I feel about things, if if. If I see that, yo, they ain't interviewing a lot of people, that means it's exclusive. Mm-hmm. I like to feel like I'm exclusive myself. Right. So mm-hmm. if you exclusive and I'm, hey, put me in the game, coach. Like, get me on there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and and it's just because, like, I'm a believer in unloading and, and being around people and creating and building relationships. How you going to do that mm. digitally? Like, no, in a true. digital manner. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I came crazy too. I was like, tag so, Shay. So, so, <laughs> tag so basically, you didn't mean it wasn't no malice. It I'm, wasn't no malice behind it. I'm, no, bro, I was in a studio with Shay right. about a couple months earlier before right, that. Right. I was literally was in the lab with Shay. So right. Shay kind of knew, like, oh, he 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 ain't playing. He went right. in. Yeah, that I was. That. I hit them as soon as as soon as I seen the live. I'm like, yo, it's people talking about it. You know what? I, rem- I remember this yeah. now because <laughs> the way it was relayed, I was about ready to want to hurt somebody. Oh, you wanted or, to fight? <laughs> but but then but then I he went like, I went back and looked at it for what it was, was and it was it was different. And, and, and I'm a, so I'm the type of nigga. I, I'm a big brother. I'm a father. Yeah. My husband. Husband yeah. and all that, right? So I've been protecting little, my my little brothers yeah. and sisters. When you did that, I'm like, man, fuck that nigga. Like, like I, that, I, that was my response. Like, man, well, fuck him. Sit in the Addy. But but this was not. It wasn't that. <laughs> I, yo, you know what? I, I try not to go that way. Sit in the Addy. I try not to go that way too much. But right. It was just like, nah. Well, it, it, now we got important like, stuff man, in well, here. We don't want it to break. Let me tell you. Let me let me let me. So let me explain because I remember we was trying. I was trying. I wanted, I wanted to be fresh. Talk about so, it. 
the your feeling, I understand it because of the simple fact is I'm not an original member here. Facts. I wasn't the original. So when I did, I did, I did come on as a guest first. Mm -hmm. But before I was a guest, my first response when I seen it, I was like the first episode was like, all right, cool. When I realized it was this is a, a show show, I was like, who the fuck gave them my opportunity? Yeah. I want I want parts. I, I want parts. Right, I, right, I ain't yeah. gonna front. I can't front on that part. So I understand yeah. where you came from. But at the time, yo, we it was so much. We was trying to accomplish and understand ourselves. Yeah. So when you do it, it's like, damn, what the fuck? What right, we do? Just to piggyback off of that, right? Do you understand that like at that time, this specific time frame that we talking mm -hmm. about? Like, yo, I was like the bad guy in South Jersey. Yeah. Facebook going crazy. Oh my God. But, but at, what do you, wait, 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 I, wait, wait, hold up. Before you, what does that mean? Like, yeah. dude, like when I tell you, bro, like my passion for when I want something, I'm gonna go get that shit. Right. And if I gotta point you out and tell you. You yo, cause you wait. You was arguing with Zoe for a minute too. I was arguing with what? I don't who that. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's okay. Hey um, yo, you know we no, talking about Facebook. Like, yeah, cause, yeah. Cause where I'm at with it, like at that point in time, like at that point in time, like it was it was a lot. It was a lot going on. I don't know if anybody knows, but I was trying to do like a uh, uh, quarantine radio. I was doing quarantine radio. I was just telling them about that. Yeah. And I was playing everybody in South Jersey. I don't care if you was in South Jersey, Georgia, Hawaii. I don't care who you were, right. where you were from. I played your music. And I had this thing called like the blacklist. Mm -hmm. So the people would vote. People in the live would vote on your records. And right. if they liked it, you would make the blacklist. That means you were guaranteed to play every night. I didn't care who was submitted, who didn't. It was just, I'm playing you because the people liked your record. Out of nowhere, I just started getting like uh, Facebook telling me like they was clipping my lives like while I, I was um, on live yeah. I was getting reported oh it was going crazy yeah so I kind of felt a way about that like here here I am I'm an artist myself I could have been that egotistical excuse my French asshole that I'm just gonna play my shit listen to it and if you don't listen to it nah like I'm a big believer in support supporting each other because mm. to me, music is universally peaceful. It's not supposed to be all of this, this, this negativity that's involved with it. Right. Okay. That's just me, though. So at that point, I started, okay, y'all, okay, you want to see the bad guy? Bad guy's here now. Mm -hmm. Whoever reported me, report to this live. Let's go song for song. I don't care who it is. Mm -hmm. You remember this, Shay? Hell yeah. I don't care who it is. I don't care who you are, what your name like, who you perform for, mm -hmm. how many streams. I don't care about none of that. Let's go song for song. I'll murk you. Mm. So you're trying I, to do verses before verses. I, Big facts. That's wow. what I just telling him, bro. The Facebook Live, like I got that idea from him. Remember before I said before the music, whole verses thing I took off, and and t I feel like Timberland and Swiss Beats owe me a check, and I'm serious about <laughs> this. Bro. I was I was on it. Uh, I was trying for years for like the past three years. years. Yeah. Like yo, anybody, and they don't gotta be surrounded by negativity though. You're talented. I'm talented. You got fans that don't know me. Mm. I got fans that don't know you. Yeah. Right. Let's do it. Showcase the music. It's very it's a win -win it's, it's a very symbiotic relationship that you're talking about. Yeah. Right. But it, it just got taken the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, he think he this, he think he that, he think he this, he think he that. And at the end of the day, I don't care what people think about me because no, I know good. who I am. I know no, I'm who I'm true to. Mm -hmm. You know, and anybody that's been around me. It didn't me, bug you at all. It started to. I'm about to get to that. Man. Anybody that's been around me or done music with me or done a show with me, you'll know. Like, yeah, nah, he's he, he's not that dude, bro. Like, right, yeah, he's he, cool. People, he's cool. Yeah. Like, I got a kids. I got a wife at home, bro. I'm really not with all the crazy not unless fact. unless it has to go there. Not I'm a definitely. man at the end of the not day. Definitely. That's why I just said, "Fuck you." Not. Yeah, not I ain't mad. <laughs> that's why I went like, up at it. Man, but, I, got, but, but, I got kids too, nigga. I got a lot but, of. Them. But peep this though. See how the world works. That. When he just said that, like, yo, I double back and I watched it and I realized it yeah. wasn't what it really was. See, that's a grown man right there because he didn't just take what somebody said to him and run with it. He went and did his due diligence and realized. No, nah, he showed us. He showed us the, the, the like, clip. It, like, no, nah, it wasn't right. like that. But yeah. as you can see, it worked somewhat because I'm oh, here. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yes. You know it, what I'm saying? Was, so let's was, clap for that. No, no, fact. No, fact. 
I man. was just saying It was just funny though But you know It was funny I was like Yo, When you walked in I was like I do look familiar But yeah. it was so long ago yeah. That shit was like Two years ago yeah. Sorry you had to wait it's, Through COVID to get here but I'm It was like mad. two years ago I'm but so I'm just, happy to be here bro But what I'm saying Is at the time And, I, and your approach I'm not gonna say It was the, the best Yeah <laughs> Right Cause I mean you It wasn't I feel like he could've Just said yo just tag Todd to, to let him know I want to try them. I just want to come up or whatever. Yeah. Instead of be like, yo, y'all, y'all niggas, this is what it looked like. It was like a negative, like almost. It looked like I was, was snapping. Snapping y'all on niggas us. Y'all niggas better get me on the podcast. Yeah. I'm not playing. It's really real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, what the fuck? Like, but I get what you're saying. But at the time, because yeah. even when even, this shit happened to me, like, uh, at the time, we were trying to figure out who we can get up here and how we was doing it. Right. And what we, what we did was, like, if, okay, if you, just say you the artist, right? Yeah. If he if he uh recognize like I don't really know him all the way, but that might be my man or not. Yeah. Let me send his music into the group. Yeah. All right, then we all listen to him, like, all right, cool. Right. We go. Sometimes we get timely, sometimes we get a lot of people. And then we got friends, like I got close friends that still haven't been here. They'd be like, yo, you ain't putting me on trend yet. Yeah. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. I, I, and let don't me be get surprised. My, let me get my foot in the door. And like, don't be surprised in the next couple months if they don't go live. No, nah, and, and be Get in this live right now. Why haven't I been on the show? Yeah. Because you got to understand, man. A lot of people don't understand. You got to manifest things, bro. Mm. Not fact. If you want something, go get that. Yeah, I, yes, I, I believe in your podcast. What, I'm what, a fan of it. What those folks also need to realize is that there is scheduling constraints that we Definitely. have to adhere to that we can't get everybody in within <laughs> the first five not. minutes of the masking. Yeah. <laughs> PSA, and PSA, PSA. Right. Yeah, right. So uh, about your music. Let's so you just, uh, you just put out a single. Yes. Uh, Day On Day On And so what is that song about? Is it one you're uh, gonna do for us? Day On is featured uh, Glassboro's own Cannon Cobain Shout, Shout out, out Cannon yeah. Shout out Exit 48 Shout out Glassboro Yes yeah, sir um, It's produced by uh, A guy in Europe Called Yahoo Surrender Okay um, he, he, <sighs> How'd you link up with him? Manifest I've, I've been trying to get A hold of his beats For a long time Seems to be a theme Tapped into him Yeah just I, Constantly adding, 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 and then I know where he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna send you a beat. You better flame it." Mm-hmm. 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 And then here we are with the record day on. Okay, what's up? You mind doing it for us now? No problem, man. Let's get it. All right. Well, here you go. Here is Go Time doing day on. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Turn up. Try Jam Podcast. Go Time. We in the building. Shout out South Jersey. Let's get to it. Yeah. I don't know what type of time they on. All these niggas fraud. All these bitches fraud. I don't know what type of time they on. Fuddy niggas. Fuddy bitch. Fuddy niggas. Fuddy bitch. Whoa. I don't know what type of time they on. I don't know what type of time they on. I don't know what type of time they on. Niggas lying to your face, but they tell you word is bomb. I swear that shit be drunk. I don't know what type of time they on. I'm too shorty. I can't be the one to make you happy. Hit it from the back, she call me daddy. Fuck your nigga, tell your nigga I get at it. Fuck all the small talk, bitches in the attic. Pull up in that foreign, that's a rental. Tell them bitches I'm a dog, with my kennel? Look, I tinted windows like a lemon. I run this rap shit, you mustn't get the memo. Hold up. I don't know what type of time they on. What I say, what I say, go. All these niggas fraud. What I say, what I say, go. All these bitches fraud. What I say. I don't know what type of time they on. Fuddy nigga. Fuddy bitch. Fuddy nigga. Fuddy bitch. Whoa. I don't know what type of time they on. I don't know what type of time they on. One more time. I don't know what type of time they on. What I say, what I say, go. All these niggas fraud. What I say, what I say, go. All these bitches fraud. What I say. I don't know what type of time they on. Fuddy nigga. Fuddy bitch. Fuddy nigga. Fuddy bitch. Whoa. I don't know what type of time they on. I don't know what type of time they on. All right, yeah. that's go time. Fire, Fire. bro. You know Fire, what's going bro. On, bro. Day on. We're going to go to a quick break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Well, all right, guys. It's that time. What time is it? You don't know? Game what's time? It? You uh, should know. EA it's Sports? time for... What's that? 
Yo, what's up, y'all? What's good, what brother? Do, bro? How you doing, man? Yeah. Hey. I'm feeling good. Oh, what's I'm feeling up? good. I'm oh. feeling good. Are you, How y'all feeling? Y'all you, looking good up in there. Everybody wearing black tonight. Oh, yes. Wow. wow. Know, black History Month. You feel me? And I got my pops with me. You know what I'm saying? Black History Month. Yeah. 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 I used out, too. Man. I wore my history with me. You feel me? Uh, gotcha. Uh huh. Yep. Know. I, yeah, I'm, I'm wearing a red yeah. hat to offset everything. I'm trying yeah. to match the, okay. the scope of the room here. <laughs> no, that nigga trying to hide a okay. uh, zit that's on the fucking... <laughs> On your head <laughs> well, Got a that. bump on your baldy that they got, Damn They got an ear grown Coming in this And you know what Shaving your head You're prone to those types of things Not that I'm agreeing with Will But it happens Yes mm-hmm. What's going mm-hmm. on Rock? Everything is going on man The world that went crazy on us mm-hmm. Y'all know they're giving out Crack pipes now I seen Are you Giving serious? out crack pipes Joe Biden signing the deal Giving out crack pipes now to what, what a time to be a crackhead right now <laughs> Oh my goodness <laughs> What a time to be alive Crackheads in the United States You are just standing up right now Just so proud of their country That they are finally getting recognized For all their hard work We have needed <laughs> crackheads <laughs> Crackheads <laughs> have been so important To the black community for years yes, Who sir. else can change the transmission in your car preach and and and, and carry a couch on their back all at the same time, the same preach. time. <laughs> we need a crackheads it's been it's been far, far too long since the crackhead has been recognized in this country amen mm. it's been far too long and i'm and i'm for one i stand with the crackheads it's about time that they got their recognition <laughs> They starting to hand out crack pipes. They starting to support their crack habit, and we need to start appreciating all the hard work they dance for us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sing songs. Uh, yep, they sing songs. Well, you know what I'm saying? They the best rappers, they, and they don't die. You can't kill crackheads. Nope. You cannot kill a crackhead. Can't push them over either. And some of them use the best advice in the world. Yo, I mean, they I philosophers, no. they musicians, they very extremely talented and resourceful, and motivational speakers. You know, mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. one doesn't really know what kind of Swiss Army knife a crackhead can be. No, nah. yo, yeah. I'm telling they you. are multi talented people, and I'm just saying, let's give it up one time for the crackheads. Um, let's put one in the air for all the crackheads that we know I got and that we don't know. Uh, we're going to get acquainted with them much more now that the government is handing out crack pipes. <laughs> so don't be surprised if your local crackhead show up again no, definitely. Yeah. in your neighborhood. Hey, Rock, real quick, anything a crackhead ever showed you that you didn't know was possible? Uh, Yes. What was that? Yes. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> I got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd your crackhead show you? I didn't know you can boil a hot dog in a in the microwave. <laughs> Boil a hot dog in the microwave? I swear to God, a crackhead we show put me. It in, we put it in water and we put, put it in the microwave. Bowl. <laughs> in a bowl. <laughs> I said, man, you got to cook that on the stove. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. A crackhead showed me how to hit a roach. <laughs> how to what? How to hit a roach. A dutch. Oh, a dutch, dutch, yeah. oh With God. what, though? Oh, yeah, I, okay, like, it was it. real, it was yeah. real small. Sorry, not an Did actual roach. Bug roach. <laughs> we no, talking no. about a roach or a dust? I was with you on that one, Rock. <laughs> a bug. Bro, you smoke a roach, is that? Yeah, I was like, how to hit it? Because I, because I expect the crackhead to know how to do that too. How to, how to kill bugs? Yeah. <laughs> I had crackheads used to come to the house to cut trees down. I said, how you cutting these trees down, crackhead? You ain't got no tools. <laughs> said, hey, you come he came back. with a rope. He came with a rope. And a, and a pocket knife and then said I'll cut these trees down for you cut these trees down for you young young blood let me cut this tree down for you young blood you don't need this tree let me cut this tree down for you young blood damn we love our crackheads man we yes, do sir. love our crackheads y'all was y'all was trying to go on my y- y- on my wardrobe on you know my, my, my t-shirt today you know but y'all not feeling the v-neck uh, it's not that uh, we not feeling the it's v-neck. just really with your background we can't see it, it, it that and and I, I kind of feel like you got that look like a shirt that a nigga wear when he beat his wife. I just <laughs> I just see prison in your future. That's all. Like last that, week and this week. Listen, this is the preemptive shirt really? for the shirt you wore last week. That's, yeah, that's, that, that's just, what that's what we that's what we doing. We talking yeah. about my word. Yeah, you're you right now. And you trying to grow your beard back a little bit? Yeah, something going on at the house. Something, something going on. Something yeah. going on. Sorry, sorry to crack on your wardrobe, Brock. I point. tell you what, I'm not going to be the butt of these jokes no more. All right, <laughs> let me tell you something. I am not the only one in this room that don't make good wardrobe selections. Okay? Really? So let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and talk about it. Hold on, let's last do- week, Joe. 
Let, go ahead. I'm gonna clear ahead. mine because I come from it. I come from work. So I'm a clear oh, one. All right. I come from okay, work. Okay, everybody got excuses. And, and I, and, you know what I'm saying? And I see Kyle look like he got on that super duper fly jacket that Missy Elliott had on. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm super fly. Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, I'll take it. I can't stand the rain. <laughs> and not and Will ain't and Will ain't, ain't, ain't immune to these to these shots neither because Will's wardrobe selections don't always be popping and I done, I done told my brother about this before Dan show him show him real quick one time Dan listen <laughs> this is what we, this we don't real. want <laughs> this is what we don't want we don't want Will right out here looking like Marty from Madagascar we don't tell him don't ever wear that outfit hey, again yo. Yo, Listen. don't you all right. ever all right. wear Rock. that outfit Rock. again. Rock, hold on. It's crack and lacking. It's crack and lacking. <laughs> Rock, hold on. Uh, pull that back up. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, hold up. Uh, for the listeners at home who, who can't see this, what we're looking Yo. at on the screen right now, it was the... Uh, it was it, Will chose to wear an interesting outfit that day, where it was straight zebra stripes with <laughs> zebra uh, stripes with a uh, with uh, it looked like a, a yellow hat and yellow shoes. It was uh, very much like the highlighted. zebra from Madagascar. This is the thing. I was with Rock that night. <laughs> I was with Rock that night, and somebody. I, hey, did y'all get, did y'all get that picture off my Instagram with the with the zebra, or did y'all or did y'all put that zebra next to me? No, don't worry about how we got that. No, no. This the is, reason don't why, worry about how we got that. No, the reason why is somebody did that to me. Yeah, I remember and that. I, and I sold the outfit immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> I took that. I, I put that outfit in the in his bag, and my wife go to the spot called Plato's Closet. Yeah, and I sold it for like seven dollars. Yeah, but you bought it for five. So <laughs> no, you know, I, I'm just saying, nobody gets sets no more. Yeah. He had on a whole zebra set. I could, oh, I'm yeah. gonna oh, that was priceless. Thanks for the prop comedy, Rob. That was, that was nice. Uh, so you good, man? I'm good, man. It's good to see y'all. It's good to be. Seen and not viewed. Right, sir. Yes, that's not like a bad husband. You hear that? <laughs> something about that. It'd be seen, be seen and, and heard sometimes. But when, when you're viewed is when they're looking at you in the casket. Right. So when you, when they see you, you know you're alive. So it's good right. to be alive, fellas. That's mm-hmm. all I'm saying. Oh, you. all right. Well, thank you once again, Rock. That was Rock's rant. Rock's rant. All right, fellas. Love y'all. Catch y'all later. Love Love you too, bro. bro. Guys, as much as I love doing these commercials, these spots here. There's something else I would love to see. What's that? I would love to see our viewers at home have their business advertised on our show. That's right. We would love to have that. We have an amazing sponsorship opportunity here, Mm. a chance to get your business out there and your business platform heard. Shay... You got the info. Dang. What can what can they do? Hey, listen, man. We got opportunities out here for y'all. You got your business mentioned at the top and bottom of every single live Trijam podcast show. We the got top and bottom. Co- commercial read by the live show host. Commercial read by the live show host. Then you got a weekly endorsement post on Trijam's social media page. Our weekly endorsements. Page be popping on the low. So this is the price though, right? We got four hundred dollars for two weeks. We got three hundred seventy-five dollars for eight weeks. Then you got that seven fifty for sixteen weeks. So make sure y'all get them, them promotions, man. Professional edit only on location. Oh, oh, oh! We can go to the spot, bro, yeah, and we can do it there. Yes. Yeah, so and now, how much that cost? Two hundred dollars. Yeah, it's nothing. We will go. Cheap. We will show up at your location and record a spot for you. We're Word. fun. We're energetic. We did it before. Yes, sir. And it worked out very well for them. Make sure y'all hit up Kyle at Try Jam Podcast for that info. You hear me? Absolutely. Trijampodcast dot com is the email address. Way to go, Shay. Thank you for relaying that information. God, anytime. <laughs> hey, yo. All right, we're back for the break, y'all. This is Try Jam. Yeah. 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 Hey, great know. show. What the right, fuck? It's about on? my favorite time of the day. What to go home? Yes, yeah, sir. But we gotta go to church first. Right. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, I man. think we need to, you know, hey, give a special thanks to to Go Time. He was such a great interview. So hey, insightful man. and an entertaining artist too. No, hey, definitely man. dope. Real dope. It's proof that uh, complaining enough can get you on the show. I'm yeah, just that's kidding. right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Two years later. What they call it? Uh, manifest. Hey. Manifesting. Hey. No, all jokes aside, he was good, dude. <laughs> uh, so we got to go. But before we do that, we got to do this. Well, 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 well. What's going on, people? Amen. This is your boy, Comedian Will Wright. We here at the Church of Tri Jam. Amen. Y'all get up for yourselves for being here tonight at the church on Bible Study Night. 
Bible study. Yeah, uh, Wednesday. Right. right. It's Wednesday. Uh, we want to go and give a shout out to uh, Deacon Dan is in the building. Y'all give it up for Deacon Dan. We appreciate you being here, doing what you do so best, so gracefully. <laughs> gracefully. Uh, gracefully. Oh, gracefully. Uh, uh, also, we have. And gracefully. We normally have a Kevin, but this Kevin is uh, actually not white, but his name is Kevin White. Y'all right. give it up for Kevin White. We appreciate you being here, stepping in for the other Kevin that is white. Uh, that's a little, ain't a little, I, I, that's, that's ironic. That's a ironic. Yeah. ironic. Yeah. Ain't that fast? That's a yeah. big word for Kevin, me. Kevin White is a very nice Puerto Rican, Jewish, Italian man. Black. <laughs> he think he's black as well. Something in there. But he's, he's been he's been confused for three separate races all week. So. We understand. We, we're going to do is, uh, uh, we're going to find us in, uh, what's it going to happen? What's it, what you call it? When you do the, uh. When you look for your people, what'd you call that, Pastor? I don't know. What'd you call it, white guy? I don't know what you're talking about. When you look for your ancestors and stuff, what did you call? Oh, 23 and Me? Ancestry. No, that's a show, ain't it? No, that's a surface. Ancestry. Yeah, okay. com. Ancestry. We're going to go find his ancestry. Okay. Find out the boy is something. You ever, you ever watched the Boondocks? I, you ever I, seen I have, yes. Remember Uncle Ruckus tried to find out about his people and he found out he was 110% black? <laughs> <laughs> He was mad as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, also, also in the studio we have with us is uh, uh, the minister of uh, AV, which is audio and video. Y'all give it up for Cal Miggity Miggity Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Also, Pastor, we appreciate you being here. We God can't wait you. to hear your word tonight. God on this. bless you. Uh, let me go through some of this. Uh, I remember the last week I had said something about the uh, the play that we was trying to do. We was trying to do roots uh, reverse. Reverse and, roots. Uh, Fallen leaves. Fallen leaves. We like that. <laughs> Fallen leaves. Uh, this week, uh, working title. Yeah. This week, uh, we definitely still looking for some people to uh, play some of the uh, some of the characters this month. Uh, we trying to do the black. Uh, we just call black uh, history thing at the end of the month because we want to get everybody together. We still have to do a couple of rehearsals, Pastor. Uh, Cal, are you still good to do Kuta? I mean, I I guess. Cool. Is, uh, is everyone have okay cool. with that? Yeah, we good with that. We, uh, this time, we not gonna cut your left foot off. We might just cut the right one off. All right. All right. It's reverse. All right. Yeah. We, we're going to switch it up on them, right? Right and right. All right. Cool. Moving right along. <laughs> we had some crazy things going on. I don't know about you down here at the church, uh, Pastor, but uh, apparently uh, 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 it was a, a minister from back in the day got some hot grits on him named uh, Minister Al Green. <laughs> ah, Man. Hot. He was That's what so he said. Ah, no, it was hot. He was like, ah, hot. <laughs> 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 uh, apparently something happened at this uh Florida it's, people in Florida is crazy, Pastor. I just want to tell you that. A young man got some uh do some uh oodles and noodles on his on his woman. Jesus over a dog. Uh, over his dog. Yeah. That's crazy. Jesus. Oh, I don't know what it's <laughs> and, but then but, what, that, but this the part that got me in the story. He battered her with it. That means he beat the noodles across the uh, more than one time, Pastor. With the hot plate. With the hot plate. Didn't hit the I hate to say it, but hit the bitch with the uh, pot, bastard. God. Gale. Yes, Lord. God wow. damn. Yeah. We're moving right along. We yeah. had a great show tonight. Uh, give it up for our guests that came. Go time. Definitely came Amen. in here. Performed for the church. He did his thing. Uh, took an offering and, 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 and donated it back to the church. Amen. The boy's, boy's good. Yes, We're going to pray for him and his family. <laughs> Hopefully he goes where he want to go. Yeah. We appreciate him coming through and blessing yeah. us. Well, you know, sometimes when you have enemies, Pastor, mm. You know, sometimes you got to just friend them. Just friend them. Sometimes you just got to friend them, Pastor. That's what you it. mean by that, brother? He disrespected us at one point, <laughs> and the boy showed his love later. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Amen. But we love the young man. The young man is gonna go far. Amen. Amen. Show Amen. Him. What they say about the enemies in the book? In the good book? What they say? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> love your enemies. Something like that. Something like that. Love, love thy neighbor. Yeah, like something. you love yourself. Something, something like that. Love, something yeah. around there. Yeah. Something around there. Yeah. Uh, if also, you don't go on Facebook, prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. There you go. There you go. That's All right. right. Speaking of uh, uh, the words, the of, pastor uh, woke up. Especially the words of encouragement, Pastor. You can go ahead and close us out, so we can get go home to our beautiful wives. If you don't mind, I have a little song I want to sing. This is a little, this is a little song. This is a little bit. Go Cut ahead. the music. Walk with me, Lord. <laughs> Walk with me. Cut the head. Hey. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Hey, Lord. 
<laughs> when I'm, I don't know the rest of the words. All right, uh, now I'm in the grace of God. Uh-huh. <laughs> and this week, I'm reading of the Holy oh, Spirit. Okay. Rest the world in the Bible with us henceforth. Now, and I want to go and home. Henceforth? I, I want to go home. Can you say the henceforth part henceforth, one more now time? and forevermore. Uh-huh. I'm ready to go home. Uh-huh. And all the church of tried to say amen. 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 amen again. Amen. amen. All right, folks, that's our show. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching the live stream. We'll see you next time. Later. Bye. Thank you.